Hey, 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 hey. So today our message, my message to you is about how I ran four marathons. Now I did run four marathons. Yes, 26.2 miles. And I've done so many half marathons. I don't even know how many. So I wanted to kind of pull back the curtain and unpack that a little bit uh, because I think there's some really juicy goodness in there. So number one, I joined with a friend, right? I joined with my friend, Tandy. This is way back when I lived in Spokane, Washington. Uh, I, saw an, um, I saw an invitation to come join team in training. And so I told her about it. She and I were pretty new friends. And we went to this information meeting and it was being led by the coach and some of the alumni. And it was really, it was inspiring. It was inspiring. So my lesson to you on this that I believe for me equates out to so many parts of my life. I joined with a friend. Why? Because I believe we are braver together, right? So that's one of my main hashtags, main life missions. I joined with a friend. And then the second thing I did to learn how to run a marathon um, it was to get coached. Included in this training program with team and training, the lymphoma and, and the leukemia and lymphoma society, you probably heard about it. Uh, there's a coach in there. You also have a mentor. So our coach at the time, uh, Mike, uh, he taught us how to run, right? So every single week we went out on Saturday and we all ran together. Now at the beginning, you start really tiny right? So we're all going to do three miles together. Now, some people were way ahead of that. Some people weren't. And we built up week by week by week on this giant trail out on, it's called the Centennial Trail. And it was so amazing. And we would meet in the parking lot at whatever time, 7 a.m. And so we built up from four miles, then to six miles, then to eight miles, then to 10 miles. And so we would go two miles out, two miles back. There was a, a bathroom and the, the parking lot right there. It was, I loved how this set up and we were along a beautiful river, the Spokane river. So we would go two out, two back, two out the other direction and two back. And our coach, because there was a lot of us, like 30 of us, he was able to go back and forth and check on everybody, the walkers, the runners, the fast people, the slow people, right? Because there you know, was a wide variety of peeps out there. And so we got coached. And then part two of number two is practicing. I can't just show up every Saturday without running in the middle of the week. So every single week there was a you know, practice plan uh, and I did it. I did it the best that I could. I did it the best that I could, but I always showed up to that Saturday practice. So number two is get a coach and practice. And then number three is I made it bigger than myself, right? The Leukemia Society was really close to my heart because my mom had a twin brother who passed away from leukemia when she was in college. So I was raising money for a cause that I believed in. So when, if you have a big goal, make it bigger than you, right? Make it bigger than you because the why of this experience was bigger than me. It was bigger than me. It was related to a family uh, tragedy that, that my mom went through. I never got to meet my mom's twin brother, of course, because he was long gone before, by the time I was born. So in order to reach a crazy goal, like running a marathon or something else, uh, tap into your bigger why. Tap into your bigger why, my friends. Uh, and that'll help you to get out the door on the days that it's snowy, rainy, too hot, too cold, whatever. Because, hey, there's been all the excuses. Uh, and I can't wait to see what big goal you go after. I, is it a marathon? I don't know. I can't run anymore. I can't run anymore because of back injuries. But guess what? I'm still out there walking and I'm doing whatever I can do with the back injury that I have. All right, continue to follow along. This is the June Jumpstart series and I will see you along the path. Ha <laughs> ha. And uh, find out more. Let's coach together and let's get you into your impossible dreams. DianeCunningham.com. See you there. Bye-bye.